Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. To you brothers out there across the globe, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Peace, love, and blessings. To you few sincere sisters who hearken as well diligently. Alright. I'm going to do this video. I'm going to be diving into three articles, you know, as usual. I'm not going to go into the whole entire article all right, in its fullness, but it's uh, three articles, very similar one to another, and um, it concerns the alphabet community, all right, these elemental P's that Esau Edom, all right, Big Pinky, the higher ups, is um allowing these these laws and these bills you know to be enforced to protect them all right and you got you got certain states which it's all a plot and a scheme anyway all right it's, it's because what it is it's it's a uh, it's satan against satan man all right satan is divided against himself right now all right satan speaking of esau edom all right the red race of the planet, all right, it's Satan against Satan right now, man, within, within America, which is spiritually called Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah, and Babylon, okay, so you got the higher ups, you got the, uh, you know, the, 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 the elite, who once again is allowing these bills to get enforced, you know, protecting the element of P community, all right, and do you got, you know, states who are so-called independent, one from another, uh, who's rejecting their ideas or rejecting these bills rather all right so this one because it's the more recent one this says arkansas becomes newest state to ban transformer people from school bathrooms matching their gender choice okay so transformers if you a man who identifies as a woman all right you are still a man if you're a woman who identifies as a man you are still a woman, okay? Because contrary to popular belief, and it's very unfortunate that we got to say this, it's only two genders, people, okay? So this says, Arkansas has become the latest state to ban transformer people from school bathrooms that do not match the sex listed on their birth certificates as a flood of Republican-led legislatures seek to curtail the rights of of the elemental P plus communities. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders recently signed a bill passed earlier this month, which targets restrooms, locker rooms, and showers at public schools. It allows teachers, superintendents, and principals to be fined at least $1,000 for failing to comply with the transformer ban. Okay, so there you go. Once again, Satan against Satan. Okay, you got, you got these, these, uh, uh, mayors and, and you know, Congress people, lawmakers of their own respective states, all right, which is going against, you know, the element of P community, all right, because and what comes out often, what's been coming out recently is you got, you got drag queens, you got drag queen, uh, drag queens and, and uh, cross dressers and the rest of these individuals, all right, more specifically male who are, who are grooming and ravishing younger boys and girls, man. Okay, and, and, and but but it's like lo and behold, the fruits of America. Okay, you got a lot of you got a lot of women getting ravished. All right, young women and uh you know uh uh, uh like twenty and thirty year olds, you know um not middle age, but you know like you know younger women and things of that nature getting ravished by by men who identify. As women, but they still they still keep their man parts, all right, their male parts, all right. It says the governor has said she will she will sign laws that focus on protecting and educating our kids, not indoctrinating them, and believes our schools are no place for the radical left's woke agenda, said Alexa Henning, the governor's spokesperson. Arkansas isn't going to rewrite the rules of biology just to please a handful of far left advocates. Okay, and she's 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 in the right mindset. Okay, she's she's actually in the right mindset, man. Which again, all of this is just order out of chaos, man. That's all it that's all it is. You know? 
This is just order out of chaos, Satan against Satan, and things of that nature, man. All right, Esau Edom is going against himself. You know, his his seed, his whole generation, they're going against each other right now. Because this land, this land is filled with wickedness, it's defiled with blood. You know, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that's that's why America's going through this. Because peace, peace was taken away from Jerusalem. Okay? It says, the state now joins Alabama, Oklahoma, and Tennessee in targeting transformer people at public schools. So there you go, man. Let me bring the scripture out in the book. It is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. All right, so woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. Let's look at what the word decree is. You know, even though we all know it's always important to look at words to get a better understanding, you know, of scriptures, of any, really anything in this lifestyle. It says an official order issued by a legal authority, all right, a law, okay, an, an order, a bill. That's why you got what? Bill of Rights, okay? That's why you got statutes. That's why you got commandments. You know, they, they, they're they all synonymous one to another. And, you know, unrighteous decrees and unrighteous laws, unrighteous bill are being enforced. And you got these these different states in an outrage against these transformers. Okay? It says in that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, because you know the, the pushing of the elemental peace on the people, it is grievous. All right. You got so many gender inclusive places, man. All right. Like Amazon. You know, the Amazon warehouse is, is very inclusive of everyone. All right. Because they got this whole non-discrimination uh, uh, factored into their um into their policy, they have a non-discrimination policy. Okay, you got Amazon, all right, and there's a there's also there's a YMCA which I got I, I I got that as well, all right. You got the YMCA, you know, which is uh is basically under fire, all right. But it says well unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that's all Esau Edom does man all right because what he establishes mischief by a law let me see let me see There we go. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. It says, Yeah, Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Okay, and the, the thee is talking about the heavenly father, all right? Who's who's ultimately righteous, who's all righteous, who's all omnipotent, okay? Who's pure. It says, shall the throne of iniquity, and the throne of iniquity is talking about the evildoers, man. Whether it be Esau, Edom, the red man, or two-thirds of our people. Okay, because you got you got a, a lot of our people, you know, who, who partake in these affairs, uh, uh, affairs as well, who have subscribed to the elemental P community uh, in, in, in their hurtful works, okay? It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? So there you go, man. This is mischief. All right, this is mischief. Uh, all right, uh, 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 the higher ups enforcing these laws and decrees and this whole agenda, which is all for monetary gain and, and further division, I should say, further division of the people. Okay. It's 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 what is 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 grievous, man. It's it's laws of mischief, laws of mischievousness, laws of mischievousness, excuse me. All right. 
Okay. Excuse me, I had to do something. But um Yeah, so once again, this is just Esau against Esau. All right, Esau eat him against Esau eat him. You know, the house of the wicked, the border of wickedness, all their evil doings and all that their you know malicious and mischievous matters are, are coming. Well, they've been in fruition. All right, but now now we're starting to see the fruition of their works crumble. We're starting to see the fruits of their works be cut down and crumble. We're starting to see the, forget the fruit, we're starting to see the whole tree be cut down, man. Okay? So let me go ahead and pull up the next article. I'm going to come back to that one as well. You know, that situation concerning Uganda. Now, this this happened. Um, this article right here, it says Xenia, Xenia could become first Ohio municipality to, pro, to proactively ban elemental P plus protections. All right. So there you go. So you got a lot of these states within the U.S. of A that's going against the elemental P community, man, because you know, you, you got, you got these people who, who are being indoctrinated just like, you know, with the whole, uh, um, Christianity indoctrination. All right. This whole, uh, 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 Esau, Christopher Columbus discovered America indoctrination because what is, it's, it's all off. All right. It's bad product, man. It's bad product. Okay. So it says, uh, and excuse me, this was published. This was published. Hold on. Monday, February 6, 2023. I don't know if that's that's March. Well, it says Monday, February 6. So it, it might have been this month. And anyways, it says on the evening of January 24th, Will Urschel stood before members of the Green County Tea Party in the Xenia Community Center. Excuse me, because it's it's a it's a lot on that. So I'll just I'll just jump through. It says on the screen behind Urschel, a listing of Green County issues was projected. Grooming story hour. Look at this. Look at this sickness, man. Grooming story hour at the Fairborn Public Library. Pornography in the Beaver Creek High School Library. Xenia's YMCA's transformer locker room policy. Look, all of these things, all of these things, all right, Xenia, Ohio has a has an issue with. Why? Because it's not right, man. Okay? Now, this this whole US of A, there's nothing right in this place. Granted, but once again, this is why you have Satan against Satan. Okay? And the scriptures say what? If Satan cast out Satan, let's just go ahead and pull it. Let's just go ahead and pull it, man. All right. All of these, all of these unrighteous decrees and laws and policies are starting to backfire because you got a lot of people, even so-called white people saying, hell no. Okay. These quote unquote traditionalist white people. All right. It's starting to backfire. They're, they're, they're starting to say, hell no, this ain't right. And we're not, we're not going to accept this, man. We're not going to advocate for this. All right. Um, if, oops, Satan. All right, this is the book of Matthew. Chapter 12, verse 26. As a matter of fact, I start at 25. It says, And Yahweh knew their thoughts. And said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And that's exactly what's going on with America right now. You know, and it's not just the, the transformer community. That's just a part of it. You know, you got you got a lot of people complaining about the minimum wage issue. All right. You got a lot of people complaining about the um the, the, the food and commodity issues. You know how to how uh, under the um the World Economic Forum. They want us to eat, you know, insects and eat more lab grown meat products and things of that nature. You got a lot of people upwarding. You got the whole abortion situation. 
All right? So Satan is divided against himself, man. Okay? Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Just, just like what happened in Rome. All right? That's one of the ways Rome fell, man. You know, they had a two-party system. Then they had the uproars of the people. All right? And then boom, man. Collapse. They fell to ruin. Well, that was just a part of it. It says, in every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Verse 26, it says, and if Satan, excuse me, let me put this on, um, do not disturb. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Yes, yeah, so if Esau is against Esau, and the people against, you know, both of those two-party systems and things of that nature, and the people's against each other, how, how is America supposed to continue to stand? Because as it says in the book of Jeremiah, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. I right, take balm for her for her pain. You know, there's no healing. There's no recovering from America because this place was built on blood. So blood has to be paid back unto it. OK, that's saved the scriptures. All right. So Satan is, is divided against himself and this account. Just a little backstory in this account. This is when those wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, was calling the Ahawasha a devil. And they said the Ahawasha had a devil. And he was casting out devils in the name of the devil, which doesn't make any damn sense. All right. That, and that was just a little backstory on that. But it applies. It applies to today, man. All right. It applies to this situation right now. All right. Look at these. Look at these issues. Legitimate issues to, to be upset about. All right. Because you got a lot of people out here with selective outrage. They get up. They get upset. They get upset at what the media wants them to get upset about. The elemental P people need more rights. They need to be protected and so on and so on. And, and you know, the, the, the media wants everybody to follow that bandwagon, man. All right. But I'm um, jumping down. Well, I'll read this part too after the uh after the three points. It says Urshel, who used the word we over a dozen times in his 15 minute remarks. Recorded on video, updated attendees on local case on a local case in which a transformer woman was getting changed in the locker room of the Xenia YMCA. Urshel, yeah, once again, another inclusive place. OK, we're where we're, you know, they they and I, 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 I haven't been to a YMCA recently. It's like a, a gym. It's like a huge gym, you know, and I haven't been to one recently and things of that nature. But um, I could tell it's one of those places that that well because they have this, you know what I'm saying? They they might ask you what your pronouns are. And once again, it's only two genders, all right. It says um. Ursha said that after hearing from residents, the city council actively helped coordinate the prosecution of this individual. So so there you go because it was it was a it was a transformer woman, you know. He, it was a man who identified as a woman, but but what? He, there's a good chance he's, and I don't know, but there's a good chance he still had his rod. Okay. Now let me jump down. It says a potential first for Ohio. It says Urshel concluded his remarks by announcing that Xenia is exploring legislation that will proactively ban protections. For the elemental P plus community and the area of public accommodations, which would include public locker rooms, changing rooms and bathrooms. Yeah, because what people want their, their, their peace and order back. But this is why Israel are right, under the dictatorship are right, under the rulership of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is why Israel needs to be back in power. OK. It says Urshel did not respond to the Buckeye Flames request for comments. It says this is the latest example of local Ohio municipalities considering non-discrimination legislation here in a state that does not grant elemental P plus protections in the areas of housing, employment and public accommodations. All right. So there you go, man. OK, there you go. And of course, you have some people going back and forth. 
with Urshel concerning this matter. Okay, because because what? Because what? And just just like these these college students, you know, and and, and all these and all these these uh uh, uh elemental p extremists or whatever the case, man. Which they're not they they they're not all that extreme. They just just a bunch of damn crybabies, man. All right, they're just a bunch of damn crybabies. But what they 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 what they they want people to accept them. You know, they want people to accept them, but they don't even accept themselves. <laughs> I heard somebody say that in the world. How you want somebody, how you want the world to accept you? You can't even accept yourself. That don't make sense, man. All right. But there you go. Once again, Satan divided against himself, man. All right. Um, In this last article, this is fairly recent. Right, it says Uganda parliament passes bill criminalizing. <laughs> criminalizing identifying as elemental p imposes death penalty for some offenses so there you go all right the whole world the whole world is sick of this man now i'm not gonna pull every single scripture you know regarding the elemental p however you can look you can look at leviticus Matter of fact, I, I'll, I'll pull I'll pull two scriptures because it's a few scriptures going into this matter. Excuse me, what am I doing? Leviticus chapter twenty, verse thirteen. Okay, it says, "Oh, excuse me." It says, "If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination." And we all know what that means. All right. Man on man action, woman on woman action as well. All right, though, just because it says man doesn't mean it's not talking about women as well. All right, because like in uh, <laughs> in in that movie Hustle and Flow with Terrence Howard and Taraji P Henson and uh, Anthony Anderson, okay, that the Hustle and Flow movie. Well, what what do you say? Just like yeah, I'm a man, but we mankind. <laughs> All right, we we mankind, which it, it, that's that's not wrong. OK, when you say like man in general, like uh, like that, that, that general term, like, hey, guys, you could be talking to literally a group of men. OK, or you could be talking to a, a group of men and women combined. But when you say, hey, guys, it's, you're literally talking to the whole bunch. All right. So, you know, that's why I said don't be simple when looking at the scripture. This isn't just talk about man on man. All right. It says the Lord does not approve of, of, of same sex. All right. Sexual intercourse. It says if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination that shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Because because what? It's confusion. It's it's shameful. All right. It's 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 upside down, man. OK. And I'll also pull this. For you, um, for you, uh, you, 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 RuPaul's and the rest of you damn drag queens out there. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right. So a woman can't put on man's clothes. What is man? What is a man's apparel? It's, it's, uh, uh, pants. OK, because only men are allowed to wear garments that can divide the legs. All right. A woman is not supposed to wear that. All right. And many other things. I don't know every single, you know, ancient world apparel customs, but I know, you know, uh, men, men had certain garments that he was allowed to. We all wore robes, though. We all wore robes. All right. We all dress modestly. I but only a man was allowed to wear pants in the ancient world. All right. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All right. So there you go. So a woman can't put on man's clothing or male apparel. And a man can't put on woman apparel. All right. But now here in, in Babylon, the great, which is which is spiritually called Sodom and Gomorrah, you got men. Six foot seven, six foot eight, 
Them that's seven feet tall, you know, putting on their mini skirts, man. All right. And that's a horrifying sight, by the way, especially like for a child. You know, I mean, for anybody, don't get it twisted. When you're a child and you say that you like you confused, like, yo, like, yo, what the hell? Like, what is that? You know, like, why? Why is that? OK, so you got Uganda parliament passes passing a bill criminalizing, identifying as a elemental P and imposes death penalty for some offenses. All right. Because what? And 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 I'll, and I'll tell you this, because what is it? You had uh, the, the Pope, the recent Pope talk about some damn, you know, uh, Momoism. All right. It's not a sin. I mean, Momoism is a sin, but it's not a crime. All right. A sin and a crime go hand in hand. And I, a brother had, I forgot who it was, but a brother had, had beautifully went over that, man. All right? A brother had beautifully went over that. All right? Sending a crime is the same exact thing. Okay? Because what? It's an offense. A sin is an offense to the Most High for disobeying law. A crime is an offense to the law for, uh, to, to, to Esau Edom, to the government for disobeying law. It's the same exact thing. Okay? So that was that was just some double minded nonsense. It says Ugandan lawmakers on Tuesday approved some of the world's harshest anti gay laws, which the word gay means happy, by the way. All right. And when you look at the element of P community as a majority as a whole, they have the highest. They have the highest. OK. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 assault cases, man. All right. Assault battery cases, all of that, man. You know. They're, they're the most depressed all right? because they, their lifestyle, their lifestyle is not correct, man. Their lifestyle is not correct. It's not pure. It says Ugandan lawmakers on Tuesday approved some of the world's harshest anti anti gay laws, making some crimes punishable by death and opposing up to 20 years in prison for people identifying as elemental P. The new legislation constitutes a further crackdown on elemental P plus people in a country where same-sex relations were already illegal, punishable by life imprisonment. It targets an array of activities and includes a ban on promoting and abetting momoism as well as a cons as well as conspiracy to engage in momoism, Reuters reported. So there you go, man. All right, so <laughs> look, man. All right, and, and these other nations, these other nations, all right, these other nations, they feel in the effect of, of America because they've allowed, they've trusted America for so long. They've included America into their ways of living and subscribe to, to Esau Edom, Sleazy East, doctrines and philosophies. And now these other nations are, are getting upset at them because what is not working for them anymore, man. It's not all shits and giggles anymore. It's not fun. These these other nations, they, they want their they want their lands back. They want their countries. They want their countries back, man. OK. So I'm going to get this one last scripture. Oh, man, I meant to get this as well, but I, I'll go ahead and pull it. All right. It, it, still, it still has relevance. It still has relevance. OK. It says uh, Micah two and one. It says, well, to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. All right. So this this whole uh, uh, elemental P, you know, agenda was what is it's, it was worked upon Esau Edom's the, the government's bed, man. They're just like, yeah, this will work. You know, this will get rid of the uh, the Negroes, Latino. This will get rid of those 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 Israelites. This will definitely get rid of them. The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. This will definitely get rid of them. OK, because it, it, that's uh, that's the, the main reason why, you know, things like this exist. Also, uh, also um, birth control exists solely for us. All right. The woman given more rights than a man, which in ancient Israel was totally opposite. The man had more rights than a woman. All right. So it says, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. All right. Job 9 and 24. Who, who, who was the earth given into the hands of, man? Okay. It is in their hands to enforce these unrighteous decrees and these unrighteous laws. 
and they impose, they impose, they impede, okay, in these other nations and these other lands to these other people, all right, these same laws and things of that nature that's, that are inconvenient for them, man, okay? Verse 2, Micah 2 and 2, it says, and they covet fields, here it is, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. All right, so there you go, man. All right. And this is mainly directed to even though everybody's going through, you know, some type of some form of oppression by Esau, Edom, Big Pinky, these damn devils over the planet. OK, America, who has like over 700 military bases set up across the world. All right. Even though every nation under the sun is going through it. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites are being hit by it the worst, man. All right? We're being forced to fight for our lives every single damn day because of this devil, man. All right? But that was it on that. And I'll close it out with this. You know, going, to, going back into the point that these other nations, these other nations are very upset, man. These so-called Africans, these so-called uh, uh, um, Chinese and Japanese you know, these so-called Arabs. Okay, these other nations are very upset. Now what? America's continually, uh, America has so much influence on 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 uh, 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 their, their, their people, man. All right? Let me see. Um, oops, no, I, I, it's further up. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 3. It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Yeah, so woe to you other nations, man. All right, death and destruction to you other nations, which, you know, all of you aren't going to come to a ruin, all right? But a, a, a lot of you, a lot of you people are going to are going to are going to fall by, by the sword, man, in the day of judgment, okay? Because you subscribed to America's wickedness willingly you offered your services okay you offered your riches and everything to America and you, and you trusted in America you trusted in Esau Edom that's why y'all going through what the hell y'all going through okay it says in the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her yeah y'all got in bed with this damn harlot you know all of y'all was taking turns man all of you rulers, you kings of these other nations, man, y'all was taking turns, man, running the damn train on on, on Babylon the Great Horde, all right? Meaning what? Subs once again, subscribing to her doctrines and philosophies, trusting in her ways, you know? It says, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So, 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 because, so what? Y'all give, give all of y'all fruits, all right, your riches, your jewelry unto her. And what she she gives you she gives you fiat <laughs> she gives you fiat in return, okay. She gives you she gives you a um um reprobate riches in return, man. Okay. And some of those reprobate riches, all right, uh, you know, concerning certain of them, concerning the philosophy that's starting to take effect on your people, man. All right, you got women in Arab uh, uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia. You know, Pakistan getting murked for acting like American, Americanized, Westernized women. You know, with the twerking and wanting to drive. All right. Speaking out against their husbands and things of that nature. All of the shit that, that these Westernized women do, man. And that they take so much pride in. Okay. But you other nations have waxed rich off of America, man. That's why you're able to come over to America and set up shops, you know, and sell bullshit food and products. You know, mainly to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. But what, man? Yes, y'all are starting to see, and you will, a lot more of you will start to see that what? There is no benefit to to, to that subscription, man. You know, a lot of y'all trying to take your hand out the pot. A lot of y'all trying to cancel that subscription to America, but that subscription is only going to end by way of who the world calls Jesus Christ coming back. Okay. Well, with that being said, Lord's willingness is edifying, and until next time, Shalom.